So I firstly used social media when I was 13 as a way to connect with my friends. We were going to different schools when we turned 13, so I made a Facebook account to stay connected with them. And that's it. I mean, you know, among other things. I mean, I don't think anyone of us want to comment about how we use social media at the age of 13. I mean, ha! Huh. Keep in mind, again, that I was still in my depressive state when I started Kelly Telly. There was a time, about 3 months after I have launched all of this, of me not posting anything at all, if not less. Because that, that time was kind of like a slump, I didn't feel any motivation to post anything at all. But as I didn't post anything, I was actually indulging myself in this brand new timeline that I got. In other words, though I'm not making any actions, I was actually building up strength, consuming this type of content. And for once in my almost two years of battling my mental state, I saw a light out of personal growth. So in a sense, to be more exact, rather than social media, it was actually personal growth that brought me out of the gutter. But all of those would never happen if I never started to make videos and content online. They would never happen at all if I had not opened a second account and follow all the people that I know now. So that is how you do it. Well, technically, that is how I do it. That is how social media improves my mental health by having two accounts. Very simple, right? But not just any accounts. The first account is the personal and private account. Strictly only for the people that I know. And even if someone that I do know send me a follow request, I would actually invest my time to think that whether do I need to follow back. So when I go into the timeline of that account, I have this mindset of catching up with my friends and actually seeing and monitoring my friends progress. This is what I believe that prevented me from thinking the immediate negative thoughts in the first place like being jealous or feel um, inferior because of you comparing yourself with your friends. Because that may be our first feeling out of instinct when we see people with success whether they're our friends or not. So when I do scroll with that purpose, with that mindset, it automatically blocks away those negative um, immediate thoughts. The second account is the public account where I present myself, where I follow people who are relevant to me and those who I believe will inspire me to do better. Where I allow myself to actually be influenced by the contents because I know who and what I follow. So that is my mindset and my purpose for the second account. And a very good bonus of having this second account is it can act as your resume and portfolio. Because I've heard about people being afraid of not getting hired or getting fired because of bad things that they post online. I mean, you shouldn't be posting bad things anyway, but by having two accounts where one is private, you can avoid getting caught. And I don't mean this in a sneaky way. That's why I say you need to make it private because it's for privacy. So you can enjoy the social media with your own privacy, with your own friends. Be all goofy, weird and expressive there because technically there is where you and your friends hang out. What you need to do is to take care and utilize your second account. I'm not saying you need to produce content too, but here is where you portray your ideal self and be the best that you can be. This is where you show your talents, your achievements, your capabilities. And this is where you can network with people who can bring you opportunities. I mean, it's a, it's a literally social networking app. For example, I'm now learning psychology. So I follow a lot of psychology related accounts. I also post things related to psychology, especially the things that I personally do. Like maybe I go to an event talking about stigma of mental disorders, for example. Or maybe I've won an essay competition talking about the importance of psychology. And I'm not afraid to brag here because I know it will actually bring me to more opportunities. 
As a result, people who come to this particular account can immediately read me as someone who's learning psychology, interested in psychology, and having that ability to actually express my thoughts and opinions, both in video type and writing. With that being said, I'm not posting this specifically to brag. It's just a common sense of mine. Like, though I'm happy using social media, I'm not happy seeing people not happy using social media. You get it, right? <laughs> so I just want to share what I did so it can help people who are not happy with their social media. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this will benefit you. I really hope it does. So thank you. Goodbye. And may all of us use social media more healthily.